Everyone over here now. Now the next chapter which we are going to revise is the chapter of exemption. Let's go ahead and take a quick linking and then we'll go ahead everyone. Everyone over here now. We started learning GST with goods or service. Goods or service has to be supplied. Supply can be either interstate supply or supply can be intra-state supply. Interstate supply, what will happen everyone? I GST will be levied. Intrastate C GST will be levied. Once GST is levied, GST has to be collected and paid by a taxable person. How will he collect? How will he pay? That is the next matter. But before that, I will collect or not. I have to go ahead and see if my goods are falling in an exemption. Then, sir, I don't have to collect and pay. So, here comes the linking of exemption. Are we all clear till here, everyone? Now, exemption ka power to grant something. See, Baba, GST gets imposed as soon as you do supply. Goods and service supplied. GST gets imposed. Whether CGST, SGST or CGST and HGST in case of intra, IGST in case of interstate, but GST imposed. Once GST is imposed, you have to collect and pay, but you will not collect and pay if your goods are falling or your services are falling under an exemption. And we are going to learn about exemption now. Exemption, to grant exemption, the power with the government is given by section number 11 of the CGST Act. Please come to your exemptions, everyone. Now, exemption from GST is generally given in public interest and exemption can be given for goods also exemption can be given for services also goods ka exemption are not applicable for your ca inter exam they are not going to ask you which goods are exempted but services are there approximately 90 services are there which we have to go ahead and remember are we clear everyone now section number 11 of the cgst act and section number 6 of the igst act grants the power to whom to the government to go ahead and grant exemption now whenever section number 11 may we have section number 11 1 section number 11 2 and section number 11 3 all the three are power with the government section number 11 1 goes ahead and gives the power to the government that whenever government feels that in public interest government has to exempt something then government uses the power under section number 11 1 and in public interest government goes ahead and exempt some goods or services from the whole of GST or might be the part of GST, not full GST, half GST also exemption can be given. So it says section number 11 is a general exemption. Government in public interest on recommendation of council by notification can exempt what? Generally, either absolutely or conditionally what? From the whole or part of GST, sir, with effect from a date specified in the notification. Government can go ahead and exempt any goods or service basically from the GST in public interest by using the power under section number 11. 1. Are we clear everyone? And the notification number 12 bar 2017 which we go ahead and read now is basically by using the power under section number 11. 1. Are we clear everyone? Now IGST ka notification is there but IGST and all you don't have to remember. Are we clear everyone? Can I go ahead? The next one over here is 11. 2 which goes ahead and says if special case is there and special exemption government wants to give, then special exemption ke liye, in special case, government can give exemption. For an example, case to case basis, government can give exemption by using the power under section number 11 to in special circumstances. Are we clear everyone? Which is an exceptional circumstances and government want to exempt that particular situation related GST, then government on the recommendation of council by notification by special order in case, in each case under exceptional circumstance can exempt good services or both from GST. The next one is, sir, supposingly, government went ahead and told on the 1st of January that one item will be exempted. Are we clear, everyone? And there was a lot of confusion in the market. Now, if government wants, then once the exemption notification is issued, if government wants to go ahead and clarify something, then government can insert an explanation. Within how much time? one year within one year government can insert an explanation so that people understand the exemption properly and once the exemption may explanation is inserted the explanation will be valid from which date from the date the exemption notification had come so if government inserts an explanation over here that explanation will have which effect retrospective effect and the explanation will be valid from first of january are we clear everyone section number 11 1 general power section number 11 2 special power section number 11 3 is power to insert an explanation in the notification within how much time one year total bakwas everyone over here now please come to charitable and religious activities let's go ahead and get understanding with the exemption everyone listen exemptions are of various kinds which are there now exemptions what i have gone ahead and divided all the exemptions in different 
part agriculture related exemption one place government related exemption one place we will go ahead and understand chart by chart all the exemptions everyone over here the first exemption which is there is relating to charitable and religious activity now everyone over here if you are a entity which is registered under section number 12 a or 12 a b of the income tax act baba income tax act may to grant income tax a exemption 11 a 12 a or 12 a b of the income tax act is there are we clear now now everyone if you are an entity which is registered under 12 a or 12 a b and sir you are going ahead and doing charitable activity people if I am registered under 12 AA or AB and doing charitable activity, then sir, my charitable activity by GST will not come provided that charitable activity can't be anything. A person is telling I am going ahead and feeding the cow, that is charitable activity. No, Baba, they are going ahead and telling over here that charitable activity has to be what government have gone ahead and told. Are we clear everyone? Can I go ahead everyone? Now, everyone. Everything told in the class is only for classroom purpose and understanding. Are we clear, everyone? Don't take it to practical life, sir. If I am feeding the cow, then that is also charitable activity. Baba, I never went ahead and told. I am telling what is charitable is over here. It says, if you are going ahead and doing public health related services. Now, charitable institution. Who is a charitable institution? Who is registered under 12AA or AB? And if they are doing charitable activity now which charitable activity is told over here that sir if you are going ahead and doing a charitable activity which is relating to public health by way of care and counseling of terminal ill person who is terminal ill means a person who is about to go and if you are going ahead and doing care and counseling of that person okay everyone people everything told in class is only for understanding purpose okay everyone okay severely physical or mentally disabled Okay, sir, you are doing care and counseling of severely physical or mentally disabled or you are doing care and counseling of HIV or AIDS infected person or you are going ahead and doing care and counseling of drug or alcohol addict. Sir, your name? You see, this, this is Kapoor and this Kapoor is moving. You remember everyone? Ha. Now, sir, for Kapoor. What will happen if he has to take care and counseling supposingly Baba, because he is drug addict, alcohol addict, only for classroom purpose. Okay, everyone. Now, then government is going ahead and telling when charitable institution is doing charitable activity, which, which is what everyone, which is public health, they are going ahead and taking care of the public health by care and counseling of terminal ill person, severely physically or mentally disabled person, HIV or AIDS infected person or drug addict or alcohol addicts are we clear everyone now the next one over here is you don't get papa tomorrow only for classroom i told everyone over here now sir now public health if you are going ahead and doing charitable activity which is public health related services by way of what public awareness you are going ahead and doing public awareness about preventive health about family planning about prevention of hiv or aids so that you don't become about to go are we clear everyone so sir if you are going ahead and doing public awareness of people about what everyone preventive health family planning prevention of hiv infection then basically you are going ahead and doing what charitable activity and your activity if you are charging anything also you will not go ahead and charge any gst everyone over here can we go ahead everyone the next one over here is if you are going ahead and doing charitable activity which is relating to public health by way of sir advancement of religion spirituality and yoga Everyone over here, if you are doing a charitable activity, which is relating to what? Public, sorry, if you are going ahead and doing charitable activity, which is basically what everyone? Advancement of what? Not public health. I will go ahead and tell it like this. Sir, it should come directly. Charitable activity, which is relating to what? Advancement of religion, spirituality and yoga. Then sir, charitable institution doing charitable activity, which is what everyone? Advancement of religion, spirituality and yoga. Then sir, you started teaching yoga. You are doing what? Advancement of yoga. Then government is going ahead and telling you are doing a chat. First of all, you have to be a charitable institution. Then you are going ahead and doing charitable activity. Then it shall be exempted from GST. Are we clear everyone? Now, the next one over here is if you are going ahead and doing any, if you are doing a charitable activity, which is what everyone? Advancement of educational program, skill development program relating to abandoned, orphan, homeless children. You are doing a good deed. Okay, you are going ahead and doing education program or skill development program for whom everyone for physically, mentally abused, traumatized person or you are going ahead and doing educational program or skill development program for prisoner or person greater than 
for 65 years who are residing in rural area if you are going ahead and doing educational program or skill development program for these people then you are a charitable institution and then you are doing charitable activity which, which is what everyone advancement of educational program or skill development program then your activity shall be exempted next everyone over here is if you are a charitable institution doing charitable activity which which is what everyone preservation of environment watershed forest or wildlife then whatever amount you go ahead and charge that will be always exempted from gst can we go ahead everyone remember one thing if you are a charitable institution doing charitable activity which is what everyone pa p activities we remember pa p activities everyone p for public health by way of care or counseling or public awareness a for advancement of religion spirituality and yoga p for preservation of environment watershed forest and wildlife and e for if you are doing educational program or skill development program for whom orphan homeless children sir prisoners traumatized person person who are residing in rural area and age is greater than 65 are we all clear to so, baba charitable institution basically which is registered under 12 aa or ab doing charitable activity which is papi activity shall be exempted from gst everyone over here now the next one is if you are running a if you are a charitable institution first of all see i have connected this right so if you are a charitable institution and you are running which is registered under 12 aa or ab of the income tax act and you are going ahead and running a old age home for resident number 1 it should be for resident number 2 the residence ka age should be equal to or greater than 60 years madam madam in yellow baba smile and see on the board everyone over here uh, from evening she is talking 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 everyone hey. everyone here now running an old age home for resident greater than equal to 60 years and consideration is charged up to how much everyone 25000 per month per member then sir for boarding lodging and maintenance if you are charging only up to 25000 then you will not go ahead and charge any gst baba remember one thing note there can be it uh, old age home which can be run by charitable institution registered under 12a or ab now supposingly there is a old age home which is run by the government central government state government then it is also exempt if they are going and charging up to how much everyone 25000 per month per member can i go ahead everyone now everyone over here sir if there is a charitable institution which is registered under 12a or ab and they are going ahead and doing what everyone they are renting their precincts of a religious place meant for the general public for an example we'll go ahead and talk about tirupati balaji temple which is there now tirupati balaji temple or any temple which is there what happens in a temple a temple is generally registered under 12 aa or ab or might be it's a trust baba remember for this i am going ahead and telling might be it's a trust or an institution under 1023 c5 or it's a body or an authority under 1023 bba then also if they are going ahead now temple me supposingly we'll go ahead and take the example sir your name कपूर और कपूर कपूर ठीक है नाउ कपूर वेंट टू सपोजिंगली वन टेंपल एंड ही टोल्ड आई वांट टू गेट मैरिड ओके नाउ नाउ ही वेंट एंड टोल्ड आई वांट वन कल्याण मंडपम वेयर आई विल गेट मैरिड टेंपल वेंट एंड टोल्ड आई विल चार्ज 10000 पर डे बाबा पर मंथ कल्याण मंडपम इज नॉट गिवन ही विल नॉट गेट योर मैरिड फुल मंथ ठीक है पर डे एवरीवन पर डे का दे वेंट एंड टोल्ड विल चार्ज 10000 रुपीस ही टोल्ड आई विल पुट वन रुपी इन द हुंडी 9999 विल बी एग्जाम are we clear everyone so first of all if temple is going ahead basically a religious place which is meant for general public went ahead and gave premises or kilometer nahi baba kalyan mandapam k means kalyan mandapam up to 9999 per day then they will not go ahead and charge any gst the next one over here sir now uh, so now he told i am getting married people will come room rent room will be required so he went ahead and told sir some rooms are also required because when i am getting married people will come right so he went ahead and took rooms also on rent they went ahead and told 1000 rupees per day per room he told sir i will put 1 rupee in the hundi you charge 999 and it will be exempt from gst so if they are charging room rent up to 999 per day it shall be exempt after he got married now he told for food and all i have to do something so he went ahead and put one prasadam shop over there okay everyone prasadam shop flower ka shop he went ahead and put in the temple only now sir if they are temple premises basically they are going ahead and giving you shops on rent and they are charging you the total sir 10000 rupees per month it told sir 1 rupee in the hundi 9999 per month shall be exempt always remember one thing if there is an entity which is registered under 12 aa or ab or sir if these institutions are there basically who are running a 
रिलीजियस प्लेस बेसिकली एंड दे गो एड एंड गिव कल्याण मंडपम एक्सेट्रा ऑल दिस के लिए आई गोन एड एंड टोल्ड यू आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन नाइन 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 विल बी ऑलवेज एग्जैम बाबा टेन थाउजेंड और थाउजेंड विल ऑलवेज बी टैक्सेबल एवरी वन ओवर हियर ना सर एनी वन इफ दे आर गोइंग हेड एंड कंडक्टिंग कंडक्ट ऑफ एनी रिलीजियस सेरेमनी ऑलवेज विल बी एग्जाम इट नीड नॉट बी Entity registered under 12 AA or AB. Anyone is going ahead and doing what? Everyone conduct of any religious ceremony. Then government is going ahead and telling GST will always be exempted. Everyone over here. Now come to the right hand side. Sir, there is an entity which is registered under 12 AA or AB of the Income Tax Act, and they are going ahead. Baba people see it is connected over here, and they are providing training or coaching in sports. Then it will also be exempted. For an example, supposing sir, your name. Ramesh, oh, Ramesh and Ramesh, ah, oh, okay, everyone over here now, listen, Ramesh went ahead, okay, no, no, we'll ask to raise your name, oh, Ramesh only, okay, Ramesh only will take, now, Ramesh went ahead, Ramesh went, now, Ramesh is running a training or coaching institute in sports, will it be exempt, no, only if it's a charitable institution, entity registered under, 12A or AB and they are giving training or coaching in sports, it shall be exempt. Are we all clear now? The next one over here is, this is not connected to entity registered under 12A or AB. Okay, everyone, this is separate. Means A, B I have written up. Means B was relating to what? Entity registered under 12AA or AB. Now, I have gone ahead and told, supposingly, Ramesh went ahead and told, I will give training or coaching in recreational activity. Recreational activity means what people go ahead and do for their hobby. For recreating themselves. Are we clear everyone? And it is a recreational activity in art or culture. Then if it is given by individual only then it shall be exempt. Earlier if art or culture may. Art or culture may. Training or coaching basically was given by anyone. It was exempted. But now amendment everyone. For your May 23. Remember only if training or coaching is given in recreational activity relating to art and culture by whom individual only then it shall be exempt ramesh went ahead and gave it is exempt supposing you all i have a firm or you have a company and you are going ahead and giving recreational activity then taxable are we clear everyone can i go ahead please be very careful about it i feel that there can be a small question they can go ahead and ask everyone over here now baba for the hindus the kalash mansuro yatra and for the Muslims, the Hajj, which is there, which is being organized by whom? Hajj Committee and Hindus ke liye, Kumao Mandal, Vikas Nigam Limited, KMVNL, organizes what? Kalas, Mansar Yatra, both the religious pilgrimages which are there will be always exempt. But it should be organized by whom? Hajj Committee for Hajj and Baba, KMVNL, for whom? Kalas, Mansar Yatra. Are we clear everyone? Can I go ahead? Everyone over here now. Now, everyone listen. You remember Kapoor? You remember Kapoor? How, how is Kapoor everyone? Kapoor is like this. He is always moving. Why moving? Because he is always drug addict, alcohol addict. Correct everyone? Now what will happen? In this scenario, everyone over here. In this scenario what will happen? He will be admitted in a rehabilitation center. Correct everyone? Rehab, rehab. He will be put in a rehab. Now rehab may, doctors are not there. But rehabilitation professionals provide their service in a rehabilitation center. Baba, those are not doctors, but those are rehabilitation professional. Now, if there is a rehabilitation professional, services by a rehabilitation professional, what they will do? They will do rehabilitation therapy and they will give counseling, hey, you should not ring, all these things they will tell you, correct? Now, at a medical establishment, if rehabilitation professional is working, his services exempted. If he is going ahead and giving his services at educational institution, exempted. If he is giving his services at Rehabilitation center set up by central government, state government, then also exempt. But local authority, no, in that scenario, it is not exempt. Sir, if rehabilitation professional is giving his services at an entity registered under 12 AA or AB, then also it shall be exempted. Are we all clear till here? Can we go ahead? Now, everyone listen to me very carefully. For an example, Kapoor went to stay in a hotel and hotel wala went ahead and told him 1,200 rupees. He went ahead and told, okay, sir, take 200 rupees for me in cash. 1000 rupees I will give you. In case of hotel, to Hundi is not there. So 1000 rupees was exempted by government. Now all these people started using this as leakages. Basically, people used to go to stay in a hotel, 1200, 1300, 300 in cash remaining. Pay GST never used to come. Government went in and told, we want GST. Government stopped this leakage and government told, any hotel accommodation, GST will come. Sir, renting of hotel in value of supply is less than equal to 1000 was exempted. Now it is 
taxable exemption has been withdrawn please be very careful everyone you go to stay in a hotel even if they are charging you 1000 500 200 300 they will go ahead and charge you gst can i go ahead everyone everyone over here now sir i went to do yoga when you went to do one place me yoga they give you stay also they give you food also what was the primary objective yoga and hence when food and accommodation is given the whole supply will be exempted it says gst on residential program or camp if predominant primary or predominant objective and purpose is advancement of religion spirituality and yoga then sir it shall be exempted means sir you went to stay in a place uh, supposingly you went to sri sri ravi shankar ji ka ashram and they went ahead and told you food and accommodation will be given along with spirituality ka classes now here advancement of spirituality is happening which is exempt so all the additional supplies also will be exempt the next one over here is if supposingly one charitable trust is there and they are going ahead and telling eat food only food and donate 100 rupees and go baba you are telling 100 rupees donation does it mean actually donation if charitable or religious trust merely provides accommodation and serves foods and drink against consideration in any form including donation such activity will always be taxable can i go ahead everyone the next one over here is sir you are holding fitness camp classes aerobics dance music all these are always taxable here we are done with your first first chart i feel exam point of view say they can go ahead and ask a question on this point which is there the amendment point which is there please be very careful about it right everyone anything and everything can come but i am telling you the two amendments which are there please be careful right everyone Chalo, we are done with our exemption for charitable and religious activities. Can we go ahead everyone? Now, please come to the next chart everyone. Government related services. Please come to the next chart. Government related services. Everyone over here now. Government related services. Baba, government related services also has been exempted from GST. Now everyone over here. Central government, state government, state local authority or union territory ka government. Which are the government everyone? Central government, state government, local authority or union territory ka government. If you know what department, if government is going ahead and giving these services, it will always be exempt. Number one, sir, government is guaranteeing the loan of their undertaking. Government undertaking is taking a loan and government is giving guarantee to the bank that you give a loan. Then when bank will give a loan to them, from them, government will go ahead and take some money. That service of guaranteeing loan is always exempted guaranteeing loan of their undertaking or psu from bank or financial institution baba always it will be exempted now services given by the government government is going ahead and giving allowing the b b means business entity to operate as telecom operator or use radio frequency for a license phase baba for prior agreements which were prior to 1 4 2016 this exemption was there currently if government is going ahead and giving any telecom license etc then it is always taxable everyone over here if government is going ahead and providing any registration which is required under law baba you need any registration which is required under any law if government is going ahead and giving you the, like testing calibration safety check certification relating to protection of worker consumer public at large including fire license on any registration required under law government will never go ahead and charge you any gst can i go ahead everyone the next one over here is baba you know this food and safety standard authority of india fssi right everyone food and safety standard authority of india whatever is the full form you understood the feeling food and safety standard authority of india basically whenever you are opening a hotel they will come to do the testing etc and they will give you fssi ka registration are we clear everyone this fssi whatever they were going in and charging as fees was exempted from gst now whatever they charge as fees pay gst will come government wants more money and government is selling fssi when they will come to your place for registration they whatever application fees testing fees etc is there on that gst will be charged entry has been omitted hence please be very careful about it in your exam can i go ahead everyone people i am trying to cover the exemptions also together right everyone everyone over here passport visa driving license birth certificate death certificate whatever issuance services are given by the government government will never go ahead and charge any gst sir merchant overtime fees what is merchant overtime fees sir my goods have come in the sea ship may the goods have come everyone i'll tell you quickly ship may my goods have come in the port okay everyone now i want to unload the goods but sir it is after office hours after office hours if you un want to unload your goods at the custom port you have to pay something called merchant overtime fees Merchant overtime fees pay government will not go ahead and charge you any 
GST. The next one over here is tolerating non-performance of contract again fines or liquidated damage. If government is going ahead and tolerating your act, government went ahead and told, hey, if you don't make this building within two months, I will take two lakh rupees fine from you. Now, you did not make the building within two months. Was there already an agreement between you and the government? Yes. And you did not make the building. Because of the agreement, you entered and paid some fine to the government. Government will not go ahead and charge any GST on the toll rating the service which is given by the government. I hope everyone is clear. Next. Sir, assigning of right to use natural resources to individual farmer for cultivation of plant and rearing of life form of animal. Baba, one farmer is there. Farmer is going ahead and telling, sir, these natural resources which are there, might be one river is flowing, might be one land is there. Sir, please go ahead and give it to me. I want to do cultivation and I want to do... Baba, you don't, do, you don't say... Uh, you know chicken, chicken, chicken? Yes, chickens are not grown. They are rearing. The good word is what? Rearing. Okay, everyone. And for rearing of life form of animal means growing the chicken. <laughs> Correct everyone. Uh, what do you call? Poultry. Poultry. Uh, poultry is chicken only no. Then Baba, this pig, fish, all these things ke liye, if you go ahead and ask government to go ahead and give you what? If government gives you the natural resources to an individual farmer, then always remember, remember individual farmer, natural resources are given for cultivation of plant and rearing of life form of animal. Then exemption is there. Horses ka case mein exemption is not there. Everyone over here, assigning of right to collect royalty, to access royalty collection contractor on the, on behalf of the state government, on mineral dispatch by mining leaseholder. Actually, you know what, this entry which is there is very detailed entry, but at intermediate level, I'll explain you the basic only so that you can remember. Everyone listen. You know what happens whenever government goes ahead and gives mining license to one miner who will do mining. Okay, everyone, government went ahead and told him, okay, you have to pay me 1 crore rupees. You know what government ka services pay? A business entity is required to pay GST under RCM. So, whatever 1 crore he is paying, on that he will be liable to pay GST on the fixed amount of 1 crore under reverse charge. Now, you know what? If he does any extra mining, he was told only you should do 1 lakh ton of mining. He did 2 lakh ton of mining, means he has done extra mining. For extra mining, government will not go to him and tell, hey, give me money, give me extra money. Whenever extra mining is done, there will be one person who is known as excess royalty collection contractor. Are we clear, everyone? Now, what will happen is, government gives him the right to collect the royalty and he tells the government, okay, I will pay you 1 crore rupees per annum. Are we clear? And he will go to everyone, hey, minor, give me 50 lakh, your excess royalty. Hey, you minor, you give me. So, he will collect from all the miners and per annum, he will give one fixed sum to the government. That amount which is given to the government is exempted from GST. Yes. Baba, he is going ahead and giving 1 crore. On this, he will not be required to pay any GST under RCF. Are we clear? Because he is also a business entity only, no? Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead? But tell me one thing. This miner will go ahead and pay excess royalty. Now, on the excess royalty, is GST liable to be paid under RCM? Yes. This guy has to pay GST under RCM. More details are there to this. Uh, thought, but I am limiting only this much. Is my point clear to all? Remember, excess royalty collection contractor, when he is paying the amount to the government, on that GST has been exempted. Everyone over here now. Miscellaneous exemption. Sir, you know Rasanwala is there. Are Rasanwala shop is there. Uncle will come, auntie will come. Correct everyone. Kids will come. Tata, tata means... Uh, Tata means grandpa, grandpa. Take care, grandpa will come with grandma. Take care, everyone, everyone over here. Now, the Rashtan Wala shop which is there, they are going ahead and distributing what, everyone? Rice, dal, etc. They will charge some commission to the government because they are doing it on behalf of the government. Their commission pay, they will not charge any GST. Done, everyone? Next. Sir, remember in the exam, okay, these drawings and all, you remember. Okay, everyone, can we go ahead? Hey, sir, I forgot his name. Sir, your name? Balu or Balu Hill. <laughs> Everyone over here now. Listen. Sir, services provided by Fair Price Shop. You understood? Rashanwala ka commission, no GST. The next one. Sir, you know what? GST and Networks company, you know. GST and Networks. Everyone. Goods and Service Tax Network. They are going ahead and managing the GST and portal for the central government, state government. They are charging. GST and Network will charge some amount to the government. On that amount, Baba, GST and network, the company will charge some amount to the government for managing the goods and service tax network. That uh, GST.gov, sorry, the GST.gov.in, which is managed by GSTN, is for whom? For government. So, they will charge some money to the government. Earlier, they will never, earlier, they never used to go ahead and charge any GST. But now, they will charge GST. Are we clear, everyone? GSTN ka services pay GST has now been introduced. Entry omitted means now taxable. 
training program for which 75% or more of the expenditure is borne by the government will always be exempt. Insurance scheme, government is paying the entire premium. Just imagine, I am selling insurance scheme to the government, I am collecting GST from the government and giving it back to the government. So, hence government went ahead and told, insurance premium, insurance scheme, premium paid by the government always will be exempted. Government share of profit petroleum is always exempted from GST. Everyone over here now, listen. Central government, state government, local authority, union territory. There some services I went ahead and told you, remember these are exempted. Okay, everyone. Now, government department is department of post. You know post office, everyone? You know post office? Postal, post office ka services are exempted from GST. Not all. Earlier, they used to go ahead and say, speed post, express parcel, life insurance, sales services pe GST will come. Yes, everyone? Speed post, life insurance. Speed post, agency service, life insurance and express parcel pay only GST will come. Earlier they used to say. But now they have told Ulta. They have told, Baba remember, now, now remember for your exam, May 23, November 23 exam. Everyone over here. If department of post is giving postcard, Baba postcard you know. Postman used to come, that postcard used to be there. Now postcard, inland letter, hai, book post or ordinary post. Where envelope weighing less than 10 gram, then only GST will not come. If post office is giving any other service to anyone, government, non-government, business, whoever it is, always remember any other service, whether it is speed post, agency service, it is life insurance, express parcel, etc., etc. means might be you have a bank account with the postal post office department. Now bank account ke liye, they went ahead and issued you a card. For the card, they went ahead and charged you something. On that also they will charge you GST under forward charge. Everyone remember this very very important. I believe one mark will come. Baba, 40 marks me, one mark is important. Correct everyone. Now, post office cut services, all services now under GST other than only 4. All services by forward charge other than only 4. Post, post, postcard, inland, inland letter, big book post, answer, ordinary post which is up to how much? 10 gram. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead? Yes everyone, chalo. The next one over here is central government, state government, local authority or union territory government is going ahead and giving services in relation to what everyone? Services in relation to an aircraft or vessel inside or outside an airport or port. Then always remember whenever government related, supposingly one government is managing one port and that port related any services are given to a aircraft or ship. Baba, airport or port. Port means? That sea wala port. And if government is managing the port, then government is going ahead and charging anything. Government will charge GST under forward charge mechanism. Everyone over here. Government is going ahead and doing renting of immoral property. Always remember one thing. If government gives renting of immoral property to registered person, do you remember reverse charge in reverse charge? Are... Yes, sir. Now, everyone listen to me very carefully. Renting of immoral property, registered person, reverse charge. Unregistered person, government will charge under forward charge mechanism but here remember one thing renting of immobile property up to 5000 government will not go ahead and charge any GST it is up to 5000 years always exempted you being a business entity also you will not go ahead and pay GST under RCM up to 5000 rupees are we clear everyone can I go ahead everyone over here if government is going ahead and giving you transportation services of goods or passenger always government will charge GST under forward charge mechanism but sir this transportation services you will have to read along with the next chart Everyone over here, now listen, if government is going ahead and giving P, P for post, A for aircraft or port, I means immobile property and T means transportation of goods and services ka services, Baba will you be able to answer this for port, airport, immobile property and transportation. Other than this, any services, all other services other than PIT and also leaving this. Yes, everyone. Other than these services, all other services, if government is going ahead and providing to a business entity, for an example, Balu is there. Balu opened one pan shop. Okay. Now, every day gundas are coming. Hey, give 100 rupees. Hey, give one pan. Give one cigarette. Okay, everyone. Now, his pan shop, he went to the police and he told police, police, uh, these gundas are coming every day. What to do? Police told, okay, we'll put one constable and you have to pay 5,000 rupees to us. Baba, government ka service. Okay, 10,000 rupees to us. Government ka services pay, you are required to pay GST under. RCM. It means Balu will have to take registration, have to pay GST under RCM. Balu told, okay, fine, sir. I will better pay them only every day. Correct or not? And hence, and hence government went ahead and told all other services, if they are provided to a business entity, then business entity pays GST under RCM. Non-business, Baba, 
government is providing police ka protection to you guys do you pay gst under rcm non business entity is always exempt but business entity baba balu balu business entity correct but he is he has to pay gst under rcm then but he will pay or not he told sir i don't want police ka service only and hence government went ahead and told if it's a business entity whose aggregate turnover in the last year was less than registration limit then they will be exempted means you are a small business entity when your last year ka turnover was less than Registration limit. What is the registration limit? 40, 20, and 10. If your turnover in the last year was less than registration limit, then you will be always exempt. Are we clear, everyone? So Balu will be exempted if his last year turnover was less than registration limit. I went ahead and told, sir, when I'm going to class, students are not allowing to enter, only I want police protection. Okay, everyone, only for classroom purpose. Okay? Now, what happened? Police went ahead and told me, I'm a registered person. Will I have any problem? Last year turnover more than 20 lakh, 10 lakh, or 40 lakh. Then, sir, tell me one thing. Do I have to go ahead and pay GST under RCM? Yes. So, sir, if my aggregate turnover was greater than the registration limit, then in that scenario, if I'm paying more than 5,000, then only I have to pay GST under RCM on that amount. If I'm paying less than 5,000 or equal to 5,000, then GST will be exempted. Are we all 100% clear till here? Now, everyone over here, listen to me very carefully. Government is going ahead and providing to their government only. Government to government services, always exempted can i go ahead everyone government to government services will be exempted now you know what government forms governmental entity government only forms governmental authority you know what government forms governmental authority government forms governmental authority you know people tell me one thing government going ahead and doing those functions which are under 243 gnw what is it sir government doing 243 gnw all activities neither supply of goods nor supply of service are we clear now government formed do you think government will go ahead and do uh, garbage ka cleaning, sanitation ka cleaning? They form one authority. Are we clear? Government forms an authority who will go ahead and do what? Those activities which are told under 243 GNW. So, Baba, governmental authority is basically giving services to the government. By doing which function? Which are told under 243 GNW. When governmental authority is doing those services for the government, then GST will be exempted. Are we clear, everyone? Now, governmental authority is set up to do only those functions which are told under 243 GNW. Governmental entity is set up to do any function which has been told by the government. Now, government went ahead and formed governmental entity and governmental entity is giving services to the government and government is giving them grants. Government is giving what? Grants. Then their services also will be exempted. Are we all clear till here? Now, tell me one thing. Government has to do. Okay. Uh, government has to do those functions which are told under 243 GNW. For example, Balu is there. Government went ahead and told, I will not go ahead and do the sanitation cleaning and all. Balu, you give me those services. Now, Balu is giving the services, which are told under 243 GNW. Then, Balu giving the services to the government also will be exempted. Now, supposingly, street lights have to be replaced. Along with the street lights, some service is also required. Government went ahead and told, I, Balu, street light maintenance wala service is under 243 GNW for me. So, if I am doing those services, it is exempt. Yes, it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service. If I take those services from Balu, might be it is only pure labor ka service or might be goods are also involved which is only up to 25%. Then sir, always remember one thing, pure service or composite supply by value of goods might be bulb etc. he replaced. So value of goods is only up to 25% and it is in relation to 243 GNW. You are giving the services to the government then it shall be always exempted. Congratulations people. Here in your exam purpose, remember P. A, I, T. Very, very important. Other than that, these small, small services which are there, no? Read once properly before you go. Okay, everyone. I'll close my discussion on government-related services. Now, everyone over here. Let's move to the next chart. The next chart is relating to transportation services. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Transportation can be of, transportation can be of passenger, transportation can be of goods, transportation of passenger can be by air, road, rail or water, goods transportation can be by road, rail, water or air. Remember one thing, one question, 100% they should go ahead and ask, one mark or two mark. Okay, everyone, very, very important chart, let's go ahead and do it. Now, transportation service, whenever it is done of passenger, transportation service of passenger and it is done by air. Remember one thing, air, air transportation, Indigo Airline for an example is doing air transportation. If it is going to Batman's 
or coming from batsmen remember what is batsmen everyone b for if they are going to means they are embarking from or terminating in means their flight is terminating in or their flight is embarking means starting from where bagdogra in west bengal b for bagdogra a for arunachal pradesh t for tripura m for manipur meghalaya mizoram n for a for assam n for nagaland and sikkim then it shall be exam on the air ticket they will not go ahead and charge you any gst but you know what government went ahead and told we want money and hence government went ahead and told that sir if you are traveling in economic class only then the exemption will be there now for an example our balu is there balu went in business class to batmans okay everyone always remember one thing business class people don't fly free business class ke liye government told if you can afford business class you can afford gst also are we clear everyone can we go ahead now so if you are going to batman or coming from batman the air ticket which is there on that they will not go ahead and charge any gst but only in case of economy class very very important for your exam remember theek hai everyone the next one over here is if transportation of passenger is done by road then sir always remember road may one is stage carriage what do you mean by stage carriage your normal local buses which are there it will go in stages one stop to another stop another stop another stop so it will always go in stages so sir It, if you are if you are going in your bmtc bus the normal buses which are there non ac exempt but sir if you are going in ac government is telling hey you can afford ac then you can afford taxes also gst will come everyone over here now what is a contract carriage everyone a contract carriage is basically a carriage which you take which you, which takes you from one point to another point are we clear everyone a contract carriage takes you from one point to another point are we clear everyone now listen to me very carefully so for an example from here till here from here till here now they are going ahead and telling if contract carriage is doing transportation of passenger everyone contract carriage is doing what transportation of passenger in a non ac contract carriage baba we are talking about transportation of transportation of passenger and it is contract carriage which is taken to go from one point to another point and sir it is for transportation of passenger non ac will be exempt sir if you can afford ac you can afford gst you went ahead and booked one radio taxi to go from your home till the airport one point to another point radio taxi is also a contract carriage but sir in this scenario remember they are also doing transportation of passenger but radio taxis ka case mein always it is taxable the next one over here is sir if you went ahead and booked one contract carriage if you booked a contract carriage for tourism then also it is taxable sir conduct tour ke liye then also it is taxable charter or hire then also it is taxable are we all clear till here now here there is a small circular which is there there is a small circular which you when you see your amendment booklet you will be able to see as of now i'll directly tell you sir listen for an example i am a company you will you will already know i am a company what company went ahead and did they went ahead and took one contract carriage now they went ahead and took one contract carriage for transportation of their employees employees have to go home so from company to home home to company they went ahead and took one contract carriage baba tell me one thing when the company has gone ahead and taken contract carriage is a transportation of passenger by contract carriage which is exempt or it is taking of contract carriage on higher gst will come it is contract carriage on hire gst well come are we clear everyone that circular also i clarified which you guys already understood i think can we go ahead everyone chalo next for more discussion refer amendment booklet sir amendment booklet you can go ahead and people over here baba you guys have already received it people watching at home you can go to rameshsoni.com rameshsoni.com may may 23 folder in may 23 folder you will be able to see the statutory update ka material for your may 23 in that the amendments are there i am anyways discussing the amendment with the revision can we go ahead everyone everyone over here now everyone listen now the next one is metered cap baba what do you mean by metered cap you show your hand it will stop are we clear that is metered cap now metered cap if you are going ahead and booking a metered cap auto rickshaw e rickshaw that will also be always exempted government told grapes are sir if i ask them also it will not be possible to collect so government told it is always exempt now everyone listen to me very carefully you know ola uber all this uh, online e-commerce operators have come and all this ke through all this uh, radio taxi uh, auto rickshaw e rickshaw metered cab you can go ahead and book now buses also you can go ahead and book yes or no now what government is going ahead and telling if all these services which are exempted are provided through an e-commerce operator like ola uber redbus etc then e-commerce operator will be 
liable. Are we clear, everyone? In that scenario, Baba, actually, section number 95 ka discussion comes in CA final, but partial discussion came over here. So I went ahead and told you wherever there is exemption, but if those services are provided through what? E commerce, then e commerce operator will be liable. Exemption not applicable if services are provided through e commerce. You take one simple example radio taxis are. For an example, sir, transport co contract carriers, non ac is always exempt. Okay, rickshaw. Baba, you, you have to come to class. Rickshaw, you stop. You came. They will not charge you any GST. But sir, if you book the uh, rickshaw through an Ola over app, then they will go ahead and charge you GST. Are we clear, everyone? Can we go ahead? Next. Everyone over here. Rail ke through, if transportation of passenger is done, transportation of passenger is done by rail. Mon metro rail. Baba, you know metro. Monorail, monorail is in Bombay, tramway, Baba tramway is in Kolkata, government went ahead and told, their tickets pay, there will be no GST. Sir, I went ahead and booked, Baba Indian Railway, Indian Railway may, you went ahead and booked, non-AC, then it will always be exempt. If you book first class or AC, it will always be taxable, they will go ahead and charge you GST. Everyone over here now, if water ke through transportation is happening, what do you mean by water ke through transportation is happening? Baba, you know. This, co this coastal regions will be there, one coast to another coast, people go in what? Ferries, you know ferry? Correct or not? People will jump in the ferry and ferry will go from here to here, yes or no? Baba, those are boats which are there for public transportation, yes or no? Now sir, if vessel, sea route is used for public transportation within India only, then it will always be exempt. Sir, sir, supposingly Balu and his girlfriend went. Now, they booked one ferry, Aram say here, their ferry is going, but tourism is always taxable. Sir, transportation outside India, it is always taxable. You went on a cruise from India to Singapore, Baba cruise outside India, always taxable. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Here one, clarification came. Here one, clarification has come. I'll tell you, you'll, you'll tell me. Now, Baba, you know what happens? Uh, all this uh, Andaman and Nicobar, Lakshadweep islands which are there, you will see ferries are running over there. One island to another island, one island to another island, you can go in ferry. Ferries are what? Meant for what? Public transportation only. Now, these ferries which are there, even if they are operated by government or if they are operated by a public operator, government told GST will not come. Baba, 10 rupees, 20 rupees they charge for ferry. That ferry, whether it is operated by government or it is operated by whom? Public uh, uh, government or any private sector, it will always be exempted. Ferry ka ticket pe GST will not come because it is public transportation only. Right, everyone? Can we go ahead? Next. Sir, inland waterways. Government is going ahead and telling India has a long route of rivers. Correct, everyone? In the river, if you are doing public transportation, whatever you are doing through rivers, government is saying inland waterways for transportation of passenger, we will not go ahead and charge any GST. Inland waterways pe GST will always be exempted everyone over here now we have gone ahead and learned transportation of passenger by air going to batman coming from batman exempted sir then we went ahead and learned by road contract carrier stage carriage non-ac exempted and sir metered cab auto rickshaw e-rickshaw exempted but sir wherever this exemption was there if transportation of passenger is provided by what everyone e-commerce then it shall be always Taxable. Are we clear, everyone? The next one over here is rail ka case mein. Monorail, metro rail, tramway. Exempted. Other railways? Non-AC, non exempt. First class or AC is always taxable. Done, everyone. Can we go ahead? The next one over here is, sir, transportation of passenger by water. Water ka case mein, vessel ka case mein, public transportation is exempt. Others are always taxable. Inland waterways? Exempted. Everyone over here. Transportation of goods. Now we are coming to goods transportation. Everyone. Goods, transportation, if it is happening by air, water, rail or road. Remember, goods transportation, if it is happening by, one minute. Now, everyone over here, transportation of goods by air, if it is domestic transportation of goods, always remember it is taxable. Domestically, if you are transporting goods by air, always taxable, no exemption. Sir, international transportation of goods. But from India, outside India is always exempt. If India say goods are going outside India, it is always exempt. From outside India, if transportation of goods is happening within India, from, sorry, ah, ulta I told. From outside India to India, it is always exempt. From India to outside India was also exempt. From India 
to outside India was also exempt up to what date everyone 30th September 2022 now Baba remember amendment only no one type nowadays are because 30th September 2022 is gone now it is taxable GST is GST is payable can I go ahead everyone the next one over here now sir people done have you written it can I go ahead sir if goods transportation people over here now everyone on the board goods transportation is happening by water 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 route is used sir if water may you are using the rivers then it will be always exempt but if you are using the sea route people remember one thing sea route ka case may now here coastal transportation can happen one coast in india to another coast in india they are telling coastal transportation within india is taxable but sir exemption was given only for what random item and railway equipment and material also was exempted if you are transporting from one coast to another but now omitted means railway equipment it will be taxed railway equipment when they are transported it will be taxed are we clear everyone sir what do you mean by random item relief material agricultural produce then newspaper and magazine then d for defense and military equipment organic manure m for milk salt food grain then flowers pulses and rice they will tell you biscuits made of food grains baba remember biscuits transportation is not exempt what is exempt food grains are we clear everyone can i go ahead everyone over here now now sir if vessel ke through coast to coast transportation random item is exempt others are all taxable the next one is international transportation sir from outside india to india people from outside to india here also it is exempt but here it is taxable remember one thing if it is water ke through transportation from outside india to custom station in india sir for an example from outside india usa you are getting some goods into india on the transportation service air ka case mein it is exempt but sea ka case mein it is always taxable and from india to outside india both ka case mein it was exempted but now it is gst amendment baba it is not an amendment but amendment only no now gst is payable are we all clear till here can we go ahead everyone everyone over here now listen to me very carefully sir rail ke through if transportation is done always remember one thing rail ke through if transportation is done sir it is always taxable but it is exempted if it is really what is random everyone you know exam may you remember random what is random relief material agricultural produce newspaper and magazine defense and military equipment organic manure milk salt food grain flour and pulses grains okay everyone can i go ahead next but railway equipment and material has been deleted from here omitted can i go ahead everyone now people whoever is referring to the chart book by chance you see that chart book mein any mnemonic is there and you are not able to understand you can go to ramesh.com free resources in free resources there is one mnemonic ka sheet which i have made for ca final but ca inter and ca final ka charts are common only so whichever chapter may you have any uh, mnemonic which you want to refer you can refer to that mnemonic sheet are we clear everyone it is free for all ca final ca inter everyone it is free can i go ahead everyone you can download only those chapter you can refer where you want to find out a mnemonic ramesh.com free resources mnemonic ka one sheet is there okay everyone can i go ahead chalo now everyone road transportation people road transportation listen road transportation if you are going ahead and doing courier baba courier means door to door service always taxable now sir road ke through if goods are transported by individual truck wala baba this individual truck walas will be there for an example you bought a refrigerator they told okay sir i will take this goods to your home i will charge you 500 rupees baba they are not issuing any consignment note i think for individual truck wala they will not go ahead and charge you any gst sir tempo operator no gst bullock cart etc they will not go ahead and charge you any gst exempted are we clear everyone road transportation ka case may remember gta goods transport agency is always taxable everyone listen to me very carefully now i want you guys to remember reverse charge in case of gta listen you remember reverse charge forward charge i will tell you like this listen goods transport agency they can go ahead and provide services to a registered person also they can provide services to a unregistered if they are providing services to a registered person who is a tds deductor do you remember tds deductor or it can be any other registered person any other 
registered person might be a factory, might be a society, whoever is registered. Remember one thing, here also it was RCM, here also it was RCM. I am telling as of now all RCM, you think, listen, listen, I will come. Think everyone here, unregistered person ka case may if it is a factory, which is registered under Factories Act, sir, body, corporate, which is basically company which is registered, are as for society which is registered under the Societies Act, cooperative society which is registered under the, but it is unregistered under GST. This is registered under GST. Everyone tell me one thing. And the last one is partnership firm. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Partnership firm registered or unregistered includes LLP plus AOP. People who have not revised the earlier chapter, kindly revise. Can I go ahead everyone? Everyone over here now, listen. Now these people plus if you are an unregistered person, which is unregistered what? Casual, casual taxable person or other unregistered person. Remember, here also RCM, here also RCM, here also RCM, here also RCM government told, here also RCM government, here also RCM, here also RCM, here also RCM, here also RCM. But then government went ahead and told some exemption. Where? This one, this one exempted. This one RCM, any registered person in GST on GTS service has to pay GST under RCM at the rate of 5%. RCM is always 5%. Sir, factory, RCM at the rate of 5%, RCM, RCM. R Sir, factory, if it is registered under GST, where will it come? It will come in the second point. Are we clear, everyone? Sir, body corporate, society corporate, society, RCM, RCM, RCM. Un unregistered person, casual taxable person. Exempted. Can I go ahead everyone? Sir, other unregistered person? Exempted. Are we all 100% clear till here? Amendment for this attempt in your reverse charge was what? Now sir, listen. Reverse charge me to you understood. Now what happened? One small amendment government did. What government is selling? What is reverse charge ka charge everyone? Reverse charge me how much has to pay? GTA can also offer forward charge. You know how much is forward charge? <laughs> So if I am a GTA, people you think and tell me, if I am a GTA on which services pay you have to pay 5% under reverse charge, now listen, listen sir, or if I am a GTA who is going in and charging 12%, you will come to whom? 5% reverse charge and if you are correct or not, you are a company, you are registered, you will come to 12% wala GTA or 5% wala GTA, you will tell I will pay 5% reverse charge and I will take ITC, if I have to pay 12% to you, it is expensive for me. Why will I pay 12,000 rupees GST? I will pay 5,000 under reverse charge on 1 lakh rupees ka service. Correct or not? And hence, government went ahead and told GTA, I will go ahead and give you what? Forward charge mechanism, 5% also you can charge or? So whenever you come to a GTA now, you if the GTA has not opted for forward charge, then you will always pay under reverse charge. But if I am a GTA who is opted for forward charge, I can go ahead and charge you 5% also and? Are we clear? Wherever it is exempt, it is exempt here also. Correct everyone? Otherwise it is forward charge. Forward charge. Forward, 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 forward. Here also exempt. Here also. Now comes your exemption entry which I am going to tell you. What is exemption entry telling? Listen. Wherever GST is there, no? Where is GST there? Here? And here. Wherever GST is there. Wherever GST is there. If transportation is done by the GTA, people remember one thing. If transportation is done by the people, this exam, this 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 thought which I told you, you know here, this thought over here, I have gone ahead and written down over here. Take a picture quickly. Ah ha smile. Mm. Quick, 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 everyone. Now listen, 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 listen. Done, done, done. Baba, ha 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 ha. Hello, quick, 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 everyone. Over here now. Everyone, listen to me carefully now. Now listen, wherever GST is there, no, either under forward charge or reverse charge, that GST also will not come if the transportation is happening of random item. Are we clear, everyone? If GTA is going ahead and transporting relief material, agricultural produce, newspaper and magazine, defense and military equipment, organic manure, milk, salt, food grains, etc., then it will be always exempted. GST will not. You know what, earlier there was one more exemption that if GTA is going ahead and transporting and for the full truck, GTA is charged only 1500. 
or might be if GTA is going ahead and doing transportation for two, three people and GTA is charging only 750 rupees per consignee, then GST will not come. You know what? People started going ahead and doing cheating. If I have a consignee to whom I have to transport, I will tell the GTA, make 750, 750 ka bill, GST will not come. So, government went ahead and told over here, this was a leakage which was happening for the GST revenue and hence this exemption is no more there. Are we clear everyone? Now you tell me one thing, how will you remember? Wherever GST is there, remember if it is random item, it shall be, that's it everyone. If you remember this much, you will be able to do it in the exam. Can we go ahead everyone? Everyone over here now, listen to me very carefully. We are done with transportation of goods. We are done with transportation of not service, passenger, oh, transportation of service, <laughs> service can be transported, I am teaching you transport, everyone here now, <laughs> everyone over here, you know this goods carriage which are there, they are given national permit or they are given permit to operate in the contiguous state, the neighboring state and that permit when it is given by the government to goods carriers, there will be no GST on that amount, Baba remember they are giving granting national permits to goods carriage to operate throughout India or contiguous state, it will be exempt. The word used is goods carriage. Passenger carriage vehicle, GST is there. Papa people, they will tell you permit given. You will be like, oh, permit given to goods carriage, then the GST is not there. Sir, passenger, it is there. Are we clear everyone? Now, everyone over here, listen. Airlines go, government went ahead and told, hey, airlines, you go to the northeastern region. Promote connectivity. All lines told, sir, going over there, it is not viable for us. We are making losses. Government told, hey, you transport passengers over there, I will give you viability gap funding. That viability gap funding for a period of first three years will be exempted. Are we clear, everyone? Sir, airline is going ahead and giving services by doing transportation of passenger and government is giving what? Viability gap funding. That viability gap funding shall be exempted for the first three years. Everyone over here now. Everyone on the right hand side, you know what? India has a big baseline over here, correct? India ka outside say some goods have come and these goods are unloaded over here. Now, these goods will be sent to Nepal and Bhutan. Are we clear? Now, what happens when these goods are going to the Nepal and Bhutan? In that scenario, there will be one person who will go ahead and put all these goods in a truck and he will send it. So, these are transit cargo, which are not meant for India. They are meant for Nepal and Bhutan. All this transit cargo, when they are going from India to Nepal and Bhutan, this transit cargo related any service given, there will be no... GST. Are we clear everyone? Services associated with transit, cargo related, any services are given, means Baba, Nepal and Bhutan, mein, uh, sea route is not there. So, India ka sea route is used, goods will be unloaded and then they will be transited to what? Nepal and Bhutan. This transit ke time pe, do you think they will fly automatically? Someone has to do it, right? So, transit cargo related services pe GST will not come. Everyone over here, if you see down, one more entry I have gone ahead and written. Sir, listen to me very carefully. Giving on higher or if you are going ahead and hire means giving on rent also. Are we clear everyone? Now, if I go ahead and give a hire to state transport undertaking, a motor vehicle meant to carry what? Greater than 12 passenger or to a local authority electric vehicle to carry greater than 12 passenger or I am giving to a GTA, one truck or something. Then Baba, they are going ahead and telling on that you should not go ahead and charge any GST. Balu went ahead and made one satellite. He came to ISRO and told ISRO, please put it in a rocket and send it to the space. ISRO is going ahead and giving him satellite launch services. Are we clear? By launching a satellite to the space, always remember satellite launch services given by ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, Antrix Limited, New Space India Limited, NSIL. Baba, what is the full form? India. Uh, what is uh, ISRO, everyone? Indian. Indian Space Research Organization. NSIL is what? New Space India Limited. Their services of launching the satellites, sending the satellite to space, whatever amount they will go ahead and charge him, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. People, from exam point of view, remember, I have gone ahead and told you one exam, one amendment over here, which is relating to economic class. Second, I believe you should take care of this ferry wala part also. Public transportation by sea within India, by ferries, whether the ferry is run by anyone, it shall be always exempted. Then, sir, the GTA wala point, please be very careful about the GTA wala point. Random item may relief material and, sorry, <laughs> railway equipment and material is now not there. Please remember, railway ke through, if you are transporting railway equipment and material or if you are transporting by coastal transportation also, it is now 
taxable. These two points which are there, which were exempted till 30th September, now it is taxable. Please be very careful about it. One small question they can go ahead and ask in the exam. Are we clear everyone? This is A plus graded chart in my opinion. Can I go ahead everyone? Chalo. We are done with your chart of transportation services. Done. Everyone come to the next chart admission. Everyone over here now. This is not your school wall admission. They are going ahead and talking about services by way of admission means they are talking about entry tickets. If supposingly Balu over here, Balu went to zoo. Okay, this is Balu's friend. Okay, why animals? Animals can't be friend. Oh, this is Balu's friend. Uh, Balu went to Tiger Reserve. Tiger is his friend. Okay, he went to wildlife sanctuary. He went to a national park or he went to a Museum, the ticket which is told, entry ticket which is sold, not told, sold. Sir, no value limit, there will be no GST. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead? The next one over here is, if you are going, Balu went with his girlfriend. He told, I will go to see the Taj Mahal. Okay. Everyone listen, if you are, if entry tickets, people, you, I want you to talk to me only, everyone over here. Listen, if protected monuments, ka, protected monuments means which are protected or which are declared as a archaeological site or remain act under, protected monument has been de declared as a protected monument under what? The archaeological site and remains act or any state act under if they are go declared as what everyone? Protected monument like the Taj Mahal, then no value limit, any amount charged for the entry ticket shall always be exempted everyone over here now sir i went supposingly entry tickets are being sold for any circus dance theatrical program including drama ballet okay award concert pageant what is pageant everyone fashion show okay everyone then musical performance or any sporting event other than recognized sporting event or might be recognized sporting event ka tickets are being sold or planetarium ka tickets are being sold if they are going ahead and charging only up to 500 rupees per person, then GST shall be exempted. Now, sir, you know, FIFA under 17 World Cup happened in 2017. The tickets which were sold, GST was exempted. Forget it. Then, the next one, entry number 82A, FIFA under 17 World Cup, which is going to happen, everyone over here. Now, listen to me very carefully. World Cup 2020, everyone, listen to me very carefully. 2020, for that, when the entry tickets will be sold, on that also there will be no GST. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Over here what happened? Sir, this FIFA Under-17 Women World Cup 2020, the ticket whenever it will be sold, there will be no GST. Sir, entry number 82B, Asian Football Confederation, Asia Cup, which was, which, which whenever it will be rescheduled, whenever the entry ticket will be sold, there will be no GST. Then sir, one more point over here, FIFA or Asian Football Confederation and its subsidiaries, whenever they are taking any services or they are providing any services on their services, the GST has been exempted. Okay, sir, point is clear. Now, everyone listen to me very carefully. Balu went to water park, amusement park. Always remember, it is always taxable. Flim City, Snow City, theme park, always taxable. Cinema Hall, always taxable. I have gone ahead and told this point as taxable so that in the exam, if they ask you specific point, you are, you are clear. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, Services provided by an artist, artist by way of performance in folk and classical art form. Government is going ahead and telling, we will preserve our folk and classical art form. So, if there is an artist who is going ahead and doing folk and classical art form of music, dance, theater, then sir, remember one thing, if they are going ahead and charging only up to how much? 1.5 lakh, then sir, because you are doing folk and classical art form of what? Music, dance or theater, there will be no... GST on the consideration which you go ahead and charge. If you are charging only up to how much? 1.5 lakh for your performance. Can I go ahead everyone? But sir, if performance is done in Bollywood song, if performance is done in Bollywood song, it shall be always taxable. Now supposing this, this folk and classical art form may, the people who are going ahead and doing this Bharat Natyam, they became a brand ambassador and they started doing brand they started promoting products, etc. And they became a brand ambassador. Then brand ambassador ka services are always taxable. I hope everyone is clear with this point. Can we go ahead, everyone? Done? Yes. Are we all clear till here? Now, everyone over here now. Now, the next one which is there is agriculture. Please come to the next chart of agriculture. 
एग्रीकल्चर रिलेटेड सर्विसेस एवरी वन प्लीज कम टू एग्रीकल्चर रिलेटेड सर्विसेस जस्ट गिव मी ए मिनिट पीपल पीपल लिसन वन थिंग दिस वेन एवर रिश्यूड आई रिटर्न ओवर हियर नो एक्चुअली वेन एवर रिश्यूड शुड बी रिटर्न ओवर हियर दैट वीमेन वर्ल्ड कप टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी बिकॉज कोविड एट कम दैट टाइम सो वीमेन वर्ल्ड कप डिड नॉट हैपन सो वेन एवर वीमेन वर्ल्ड कप टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी विल बी रिश्यूड एंट्री टिकेट विच विल बी सोल्ड देर बी नो GST. Are we clear, everyone? So you can go ahead and cut, and you can write over here: Women World Cup 2020, uh, which will be whenever rescheduled. The tickets which will be sold, there will be no GST. You can write over here, whatever it is: Women World Cup 2020, Asian Football Confederation 2022 Cup. Whatever entry tickets will be there, there will be no GST. Are we all clear till here, everyone? Over here, let's go ahead. Please come down. Agriculture, everyone over here now. Agriculture, agriculture, everyone over here. Agriculture being the backbone of the country, people. Agriculture being the backbone of the country. Outward supply pay, agriculture will not go ahead and charge GST. Correct or not? Whatever all these crops he is growing and selling, anyways, he will not go ahead and charge GST. Now, to make all these crops grow, he will take input services, sell lot of cultivation related services, tractor on rent, etc. He will take. Now, all these services pay if GST is being charged. Don't you think his agricultural produce will become expensive? And hence, government went ahead and told, sir, agriculture ka case mein when there is no output tax, generally they will not get any ITC. And hence, government went ahead and exempted the most of the services which are being provided to agriculture. Everyone over here, agriculture starting say till the end. I have gone ahead and made one flow chart over here. And from the beginning till the end, whatever services are provided to agriculture, whichever services are exempted, those services I will go ahead and tell you. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Agriculture ka case mein one entry is there, entry number 54, which goes ahead and says, services relating to cultivation of plant and rearing of all life form of animals. Baba, growing of plants and growing of animal. Growing of animal ke liye good word use this. Rearing of life form of animal, except Horses. If you are taking services in relation to cultivation of plant and rearing of life form of animal, Baba, why will you grow plants and why will you grow animals for food? Correct. Fiber, fuel. Baba, cow dung is used as fuel. So they are going ahead and telling you are doing cultivation of plant and rearing of life form of animal for what? For food, fiber, fuel, or might be any raw material or other similar product or you are going ahead and doing cultivation of plant for agricultural produce. Then they are going ahead and telling if you are taking services by way of what number a agricultural operation directly in relation to production of agricultural produce including cultivation harvesting threshing plant production testing for an example cultivation you want to grow the crops crops growing related you are taking any services might be soil testing related you are taking any services they are going ahead and telling any services relating to cultivation sir agricultural operation which you are going to do in the agricultural farm Agricultural operation directly, sir, if you are going ahead and taking services in relation to what? Agricultural operation directly related to production of the agricultural produce. To produce the agricultural produce, if you are taking any services, might be cultivation related service, to cut harvesting related services, might be threshing, baba, threshing related services you went ahead and took. Plant production, baba, fumigation in the agricultural farm. So that, Baba, the pesticide array, what is this? Pesticide will be put, no, fumigation, correct, in the agricultural farm. Then, sir, testing, soil testing, etc. services you are taking. Remember, government is supporting agriculture extensively. And government told, agricultural operation when you are doing all these services, including cultivation, threshing, everyone with me, cultivation, threshing, plant production, all these services will be exempted. Now, sir, listen to me very carefully. To go ahead and do agriculture, Entry number 54 may B point it says you need farm laborers. All these farm laborers, somebody will supply you farm laborer. They will go ahead and charge you an amount. They will not go ahead and charge you any GST. Sir, I need this agriculture car, tractor, etc., machines, etc. Somebody will go ahead and give you agricultural machine. They will not go ahead and charge any. Baba, I'm not talking about buying. I'm talking about when they will give you on rent. Agricultural machine, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. The next is. Renting of agro machine, no GST. Sir, I want land also on rent. Government told if somebody is going ahead and giving you land, vacant land for going ahead and doing agriculture with or without incidental structure, means might be there is a small hut which is there to keep agricultural produce. That is also okay. They will not go ahead and charge you any GST. People, 
to do agriculture i took a land no gst i took a tractor no gst on tractor human being labor no gst cultivation ke liye services agricultural operation no gst everyone over here now now once the agricultural produce is done you are done you have done the agricultural produce what will happen at the agricultural farm there will be lot of processes which will be taken care there will be lot of process baba do you think you will tell hey you can come cut and take take your vegetables and go no there will be lot of processes which will be done at an agricultural farm now all those processes and agriculture doesn't do himself he goes ahead and asks the services of outsider and government went ahead and told if processes at agricultural farm like husking dehusking trending pruning cutting drying cleaning fumigation might be at the agricultural farm i told someone please come and do the cutting sir drying might be i wanted to dry some things drying cleaning fumigation putting pesticide in the agricultural farm so that baba not pesticide that uh smoke so that what will happen all the insects etc will die then sir curing i call someone to do sorting grading a grade b grade etc ke liye i call someone sir cooling bulk packing etc ke liye if i go ahead and call someone always remember all these processes at an agricultural farm and this process results in an agricultural produce remaining agricultural produce only then this process will be exempted sir always remember we do not change the essential characteristic but makes it marketable for the primary market then it shall be always that process will always be exempted remember agricultural produce done the process but still that because of the process agricultural produce remains agricultural produce apple done the cleaning etc remains apple only then that service which was given will be exempted apple ka grading done apple remains apple only that service which was given will be exempted now apple theek hai they went ahead and gave one service apple became apple juice beta taxable are we clear everyone remember one thing if any of these processes are carried out at an agricultural farm and this process process results in agricultural produce remaining agricultural produce only then it shall be always exempted agricultural produce remaining agricultural produce then that service will be exempted if agricultural produce becomes non agricultural produce because of the service then it shall be always taxable i have given some example over here sir uh, apple remains apple then that service will be exempt apple became apple juice then that service will be taxable sir potato remains potato only cleaning etc is done then that service will be exempt potato became potato chips then that service will be taxable remember one thing everyone if any process is carried out because of which agricultural produce remains agricultural produce exempt agricultural produce become non agricultural produce that process taxable everyone over here i have given some examples please read at home okay everyone now everyone over here i did the growing wala part then sir trending cutting pruning etc done sir all these processes carried out at the farm now after this what will happen everyone sir after this you will go ahead and put all the goods in a warehouse you know what agriculturist from his agricultural farm no agriculturist does not go ahead and store he doesn't have so much money people go ahead and buy the goods from them and then they go ahead and store yes or no everyone so baba government went ahead and told till agricultural farm okay now government went ahead and told what will happen from here goods will be stored in a warehouse fumigation in a warehouse of agricultural produce was exempted but baba tell me one thing fumigation in the agricultural land fumigation in the agricultural farm is okay but warehousing may whenever fumigation services are given baba their warehousing is not done by agriculturist someone else will buy from the agriculturist and he will store correct or not and hence government went ahead and told fumigation in a warehouse of agricultural farm now not agricultural farm warehouse will always be now taxable gst will come okay sir warehousing is done warehousing may that smoke is put fumigation gst will come theek hai sir your home may to kill pesticide fumigation service what will come gst will come fumigation in warehouse of agricultural produce yes agricultural farm no sir cultivation ke time pe no are we clear government is helping the agriculturist farmers can we go ahead everyone next sir if warehousing is done of any agricultural produce warehousing of i told fumigation is taxable i am not telling warehousing is taxable if anybody is going ahead and doing warehousing of agricultural produce it will be exempted sir if anybody is going ahead and doing warehousing of rice then also it is exempt remember rice is not an agricultural produce paddy is an agricultural produce and rice ka warehousing is also exempted then warehousing of minor forest produce like tamarind curry leaf 
tendu patta, bamboo, honey, etc. is also exempt. Warehousing of, Baba, earlier, lot of things were there which were exempted. Now, government told we want GST, we want GST and government told warehousing of pulses, fruits and vegetable and cereal. C, P, F, V. Cereal, then pulses, fruits and vegetable only is exempt. All other things are now taxable. Everyone, listen one thing. Here, sugarcane is also deleted, right? It means sugarcane ka warehousing will be? 100% I knew you will tell me that. Sir, sugarcane is an agricultural produce and agricultural produce ka warehousing is anyways exempted. Don't forget. Can we go ahead everyone? <laughs> Are warehousing of agricultural produce. Sugarcane is agricultural produce only. No, so it is exempted here. Can I go ahead everyone? Please be very careful. Next. Everyone, warehousing clear. The next is, now what will happen? Baba, your goods are lying in the warehouse. What you will let them rot only? So, sir, now what will happen? Agricultural Produce Marketing Committee will come. They will sell your agricultural produce. When they are going ahead and charging any commission, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. Now, goods are sold by whom? The APMC agent. Now, what will be happening? They will be loaded. So, sir, loading, unloading, packing, storage of agricultural produce or rice. Loading, unloading, packing, storage of rice and agricultural produce is exempted. Now, sir, okay, loading, unloading, done. After that, what will happen? Transportation. Baba, transportation just now we learned. Random item. Ah, <laughs> sir, transportation of agricultural produce rice by GTA or rail or vessel is also exempt. So, it means growing, say, transporting the all services relating to agriculture, most of the services has been exempted. Everyone over here. Agriculture extension service means you are going ahead and giving training to agriculture pharmist. Uh, sorry. Agriculturist who are there, not pharmacist, agriculturist who is there. Okay, if you are going ahead and giving agriculturist co some training, etc., then that agriculture extension services will also will not go ahead and charge any GST. Now, sir, artificial insemination. Always remember one thing: artificial insemination of livestock always taxable. Artificial insemination of livestock is always uh, 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 exemption. It is. Oh, uh, what you guys are sleeping? It is exempted. Only horses is. GST is payable. Please be very careful. Can I go ahead everyone? The next one over here. Services of pre-cooling, ripening, waxing, retail packing, labeling of fruits and vegetables which do not essentially, which do not change the essential characteristic will always be exempted. So if I am going ahead and doing labeling or pre-cooling or ripening services of fruits and vegetables, then my services also will be exempted. The next one over here, NCCD, National Cold Chain Development Authority, which is there, which will tell you how apples can go from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. How cold chain etc. will be, uh, what is cold chain, how it is to be used. They go ahead and give what? Knowledge dissemination they do. They go ahead and teach the farmers about the cold chain facility. Their services are also exempted. The next one over here is, sir, you know what? Farmer wanted some electricity for his tube well. He went ahead and told, Bescom supposedly, electricity distribution utility, please extend the wire. Please put one pole and extend the electricity till my farm. For agricultural use, Baba Bescom or the electricity distribution utility will go ahead and charge some amount. They will not go ahead and charge any GST on that erection, installation of pole, etc. services. May whatever they go ahead and charge, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. Okay, sir, point is clear. Everyone tell me one thing. Paddy is an agricultural produce. Rice is not an agricultural produce. Paddy say meal may. Paddy will be put, rice will come out. That process is taxable or exempt. Simple agricultural produce becoming non agricultural is always taxable. And that was the clarification. Milling of paddy into rice is not an intermediate process and it is not exempt. It shall always be taxable. I hope everyone is clear. One point we have on the left hand side Baba, all the intermediate processes which are there, like trending, cutting, pruning, etc., which is done. If it is done through job work also, that job worker will not go ahead and charge any GST. Scaring out an intermediate process as job work in relation to cultivation of plant. Whether it is in relation to cultivation or rearing of life form of animal except horses will always be exempted. So, if I am going ahead and doing not trending, cutting, pruning, supposingly I go ahead and tell you any intermediate process for cultivation of plant or any rearing of life form of animal, if I go ahead and do any intermediate process as a job worker, I will charge my job work charges. On that also, I will not go ahead and charge any GST. It shall always be exempted. For your reference, I have gone ahead and given. See, this is fuel, this is food. Correct everyone. Can I go ahead everyone? Food for some. <laughs> Take everyone. Yes, sir. Point is clear. Chalo. I'll go ahead and close my discussion. Sir, some examples I've given over here. What is cultivation of plant and rearing of life form of animal? Ka? Some examples I've gone ahead and given.
I'll go ahead and close my discussion on the chart of agriculture. Two marks, two marks, two marks. I feel they can go ahead and ask you a small point. Fumigation wala point, I've explained you. Amendment, everyone. Fumigation wala point. Amendment, warehousing wala point. Please be careful, right, everyone? I'll close my discussion on agriculture over here. Done. Now, the next chart is relating to health surveys. Power two marks, two marks, two marks. I feel they will ask you because a lot of small, small changes over here and there. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Health care services means if any care of the health is done, those services are provided, then that should be exempted. Now, everyone, anybody going ahead and doing health care service will be exempted. No, 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 no. They went ahead and told health care services by way of if anyone is giving services by way of healthcare service, by whom? If it is given by whom? Clinical establishment, authorized medical practitioner or paramedics only then it is exempt. Everyone listen, anyone who is going ahead and giving what? Healthcare service. Now what is healthcare? What is healthcare? Everyone over here, they have gone ahead and told it is not healthcare, it is healthcare. Healthcare services. Everyone, healthcare services. Healthcare services may healthcare services means it healthcare services means any service by way of diagnose, treatment, and care. Diagnose, treatment, and care. First they will diagnose, then they will do the treatment, then they will not throw you on the road. They will keep you in a hospital bed. Baba care will be taken. Nurse will come. They will put the thermometer. Correct or not, everyone? So Baba care will also be done. Diagnose, treatment, and care. Diagnose, treatment, and care. All the three are covered. Are we clear, everyone? In relation to pregnancy, sir, pregnancy ka first one lady, uh, pregnancy was discovered, then might be uh, any treatment was done and then care was taken, all the three are covered. Sir, pregnancy, abnormality, hey, Balo, see on the board, huh? Why are you guys last laughing? Are, he was talking, so I told everyone here, pregnancy, abnormality, illness, Injury or deformity. What is everyone? Pregnancy, abnormality, illness, injury or deformity. Sir, P A I I D. Sir, in case of diagnosed treat. Who is talking? Wait, wait. Who is talking now? Everyone here now. Diagnosed treatment and care for pregnancy, abnormality, illness, injury, and deformity. Now, everyone in recognized system of medicine. So, sir, any diagnosis, any treatment or care was done in P A I I D. In relation to P A I I D, and sir, it was for what? It was for in recognized system of medicine. What is recognized system of medicine in India? Ayushan. A for Ayurveda. Y for Yoga. Sir, U for Yonani. S for Siddha. H for Homeopathy. A for Allopathy. And N for Naturopathy. Then remember one thing: diagnose, treatment, and care for pregnancy, abnormality, illness, injury, and Deformity in Ayushan will always be exempted. For an example, we have Balu over here. Balu went to one Baba and told Baba, nowadays I'm not feeling good. Baba went in and diagnosed, you have some problem. Diagnosed done. Baba gave Dada with that broom. Now, diagnosed treatment also done. And then Baba went in and told you, sit here only, drink one juice. Now, diagnosed treatment and care, all done. But that is not recognized system of medicine. Baba, I love Baba. I'm not going in and talking against Baba, okay? On the way, caught. Okay. Yes, so I'm not going ahead and talking anything again, but I'm telling that is not recognized system of medicine in India. And hence, Baba, whenever he's charging anything, he will charge GST, provided he is a taxable person. Can I go ahead, everyone? I hope this point is clear. Remember, acupuncture, Chinese medicine, Reiki treatment, unrecognized, and hence always GST is payable. I hope everyone is clear till here. Now, everyone listen. Sir, healthcare service also includes services by way of transportation of patient to or fro clinical establishment. When one person is taken to the hospital and brought from the hospital home, that is also included in healthcare. And the last one over here, but healthcare does not include hair transplant or cosmetic or plastic surgery over here. Sir, your name? Rohit. Rohit went ahead and became like this, studying, 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 studying. Now, Rohit went ahead and told, I will get hair transplant done and become beautiful. Okay? Baba, beautification services are not healthcare. You went to one hospital, took beautification service. Then what will happen? It is not 
हेल्थ केयर बाबा दे विल गोड एंड चार्ज यू जीएसटी आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन नाउ सपोजिंगली रमेश ओवर हियर नॉट मी दिस रमेश ठीक है रमेश वेंट एड एंड टोल्ड माई नोज इज लिटिल हियर एंड देयर आई विल गेट वन कॉस्मेटिक सर्जरी डन बाबा बेटा ब्यूटिफिकेशन इज ऑलवेज taxable but supposingly one person met with an accident and because of the accident they are going ahead and getting some restore or restructuring and for that some cosmetic plastic surgery transplant etc is done then baba that is healthcare and that shall be always exam now everyone listen to me very carefully for an example kapoor over here kapoor did not become a cha not not chatter kapoor did not become a doctor and hence he became a compounder now you tell who is a compounder you know no Uh, in village etc some villages etc you will find compounders who did not become doctor they became compounder hey you are not feeling well take one dolo take this injection over baba only for classroom purpose no fun theek hai all doctors are doctors everyone over here now now what i am going ahead and telling listen now healthcare service has to be provided by whom healthcare service has to be provided by clinical establishment sir like hospital nursing home sir diagnosis labs which are there all those people sanatoriums all these people who are going ahead all these are clinical establishment and when they go ahead and give what everyone they go ahead and give healthcare service only then it will be exempt healthcare service if they are given by whom baba healthcare ka meaning we understood healthcare service not given by anyone healthcare service given by clinical establishment like hospitals etc sir then authorized medical practitioner now if you are a individual doctor did not pass mbbs then you are not a authorized medical practitioner authorized medical practitioner is a person who is registered with the doctors ka council then sir if you are a paramedic like trained healthcare professional like a nursing staff physiotherapist etc then if you are giving healthcare service then also it shall be exempted are we clear everyone yes sir point is clear now listen i went ahead and told you about healthcare service given by whom c clinical establishment a authorized medical practitioner and p paramedics cap all heroes don't wear cap correct everyone you remember this in your exam clinical establishment authorized medical practitioner and p for paramedics theek everyone done now listen to me very carefully nowadays you will see hospitals are not hospitals hospitals are like five star seven star hotels right everyone now in hospital if a person is admitted and he is going ahead and paying room rent more than 5000 clinical establishment providing room having room charges how much more than 5000 per day per person will now be taxable everyone listen all is healthcare services etc will be exempt but sir room rent which is charged will now be taxable if it is more than 5000 up to 5000 exempt can i go ahead everyone but you know what icu nicu all this may when one person is admitted generally the charges are more than 5000 per day government is selling a god person doesn't go and admit it admit himself to an icu by choice correct or not and hence government went ahead and told in case of icu icccu nicu all the charges which are taken any amount will always be exempted but room rent more than 5000 more than more than more than in the exam you will remember sir told more than 5000 will be always up to 5000 is exempt up to 5000 is exam now everyone tell me one thing now if clinical establishment authorized medical practitioner and paramedics is doing transportation of patient then that is always exam supposingly ba balu over here balu went ahead and told i have an omni van now people are required to be taken to hospital and brought back home now in covid he started one ambulance services government is telling if transportation of patient is done in ambulance other than those by a means other than cap other than cap wala people if anyone else is doing then also it will be exempt because you are going ahead and doing a good job anyways correct everyone the next one over here is sir why should we all have all the fun right everyone animals and birds ke liye whenever healthcare services are given that is also exam services by veterinary clinic in relation to healthcare of animals bird etc is also exempt now everyone listen to me very carefully you remember that story i used to tell you in the class whenever a baby is born the baby is connected to the mother with a umbilical cord now this umbilical cord is being preserved and the blood which is there in the umbilical cord is basically being preserved and future may baby requires then that blood can be used for any of the treatment etc now correct everyone now that service which was there was earlier exempted now government told it is taxable gst will be payable can i go ahead everyone everyone over here now sir you know what all these hospitals etc may all these garbage etc will be there cotton syringe waste blood organ etc they will not throw on the road now for this there are 
biomedical waste treatment facility who will come and collect the garbage and go. Now, this biomedical treatment facility services earlier to a hospital, etc., was exempt. Now, government told we want money and it is made taxable. Are we all clear till here? Now, everyone over here, come down. We have some circulars. Everyone over here, room rent charged to inpatient is nothing other than care and it is always exempt. But can I tell you one star over here? Greater than 5,000, taxable. I feel this can be asked in the exam. Please be very careful. Room rent up to 5,000 is nothing other than it will be covered in. If it is charged to inpatient, it is nothing other than healthcare only and it shall be always exempt. And more than 5,000 will always be taxable. Are we all clear? Yes, for more than 5,000, entire amount which is charged will be taxable. Not like 5,500 charge, 500 rupees will be taxed. No, no. And more than 5,000, it is full luxury, full taxable. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one. Doctors, consultancy. No. Doctors, consultancy, I'm coming. See, here, here, here. Everyone, doctors and consultants are hired by hospital and hospital pays the doctor. Correct? Doctors provide services to hospital. Actually, services are provided to patient. But hospitals pay them. That is also exempted. Everyone over here, retention money charged from patient is also covered in healthcare and that is also exempted. Baba, you went to an hospital. Why will you go? Somebody went to an hospital, 10,000 rupees charge, 8,000 was for the uh, healthcare services which were there. Additionally, they charged 2,000 for thermometer. They went ahead and gave you thermometer, sir, blood it might be, sir, uh, BP was checked, etc. 2,000 rupees being retained by the hospital is also towards healthcare and it will also be exempted. The next one, food given to inpatient. Baba, one person is admitted in the hospital. He goes there to eat, is it? <laughs> now, food given to inpatient is always a composite supply bundled with healthcare. Primary is what? Healthcare, food, juice, etc. That time, government is selling it will be exempt. Now, you know what? When you are... When somebody is admitted in a hospital, then Baba, relatives will come, friends will come. First, they will go to canteen and then they will come to meet you. <laughs> Government is selling, always remember one thing. If canteen is selling any food to outpatient, attendant, visitors, doctors, nurses who are going to the canteen and eating, GST will always be payable. Always remember one thing, sir. Government is providing those services which are under 243 GNW is always exempted. Right, everyone? 243 GNW, wala services are always exempted. Now, government car 243 GNW, one service is there wherein government should provide ambulance ka service. Now, to provide the ambulance ka service, if government is taking anyone's service, that is in relation to 243 GNW. You remember government related services, may I told you? And hence, that will also be exempted. Ambulance service by private sector, private service provider under National Health Mission, which is provided to the government, is exempt under entry number 3 and 3A. Baba 3 and 3A was in government related service. Can I go ahead, everyone? Everyone over here now. You know, hospitals may, you will see big, big boards are there. Advertisement. TV may advertisement is there. Baba, hospitals go ahead and give their shops on rent to people. All these are always taxable. Clinical establishment giving shops, auditorium on rent is all, and or display of advertisement is always taxable. In my opinion, one two mark question should come from this chart. Please, please, please see this chart properly and go. Can I go ahead, everyone? We are done with your... Healthcare services. <laughs> now, the next service is relating to legal service. Everyone, listen to me very carefully. Legal services may, I have gone ahead and covered arbitral tribunal ka services. I have gone ahead and covered advocate, form of advocate or individual as advocate or senior advocate ka services. Everyone, listen to me very carefully. Everyone over here now. Remember one thing, arbitral tribunal giving services to a person other than business entity. Balu and his wife fought. They went to an arbitral tribunal. Arbitral tribunal ka service, Baba, tribunal established under law. Their services neither supply of goods nor supply of service. Now there are private tribunals which are there where two, three people will sit and they will go ahead and give their judgment. Those private tribunal ka services, if given to person other than business entity, will always be exempt. Sir, if given to a business entity whose last year ka turnover is less than registration limit, just to go ahead. And arbitral tribunal ka services pay, they have to pay GST under RCM, then they have to take registration. So, government told if your turnover in the last year was less than registration limit, then Baba, this year, if you take arbitral tribunal ka services, it will be always exempt. But, sir, a business entity with aggregate turnover greater than registration limit, if I am a business entity whose last year ka turnover was more than registration limit, then 
then sir rcm okay everyone if arbitral tribunal ka service is given to central government state government local authority governmental authority or governmental entity then also exam remember one thing if advocate is going ahead and giving or sir individual as advocate or form of advocate is going ahead and giving services to their brother advocate to advocate services always exam remember brother ka services advocate to advocate services always exam now if advocate is going ahead and giving services supposing a balu went ahead and told i want take i want to take divorce with my wife or balu's wife told i don't want to stay with you i will take divorce now in that scenario what will happen everyone baba do you think they will pay gst under rcm government told let's exempt now if government advocate ka services are given to a business entity which is small whose last year turnover is less than less than equal to registration limit last year turnover has to be seen always okay if last year turnover is less than equal to registration limit then current year may exempt but if it's a business entity whose aggregate turnover more than registration limit then in the preceding financial year was more than registration limit then rcm given to government exam same is with senior advocate senior advocate going ahead and giving services to person other than business entity exam small business entity exam big business entity whose last year turnover basically was more than registration limit rcm and government co services it will be always exam remember one thing legal services legal services given by chartered accountant is not exam legal services given by advocates are exempt over here sir always remember one thing legal rcm is applicable on legal services when they are given by whom advocate can i go ahead and legal services means any services in relation to advice consultancy assistance in any branch of law now gst ka advice is given by chartered accountant also but that is not under rcm because legal services given by advocates is under rcm and arbitral tribunal ka services are under rcm remember one thing including representational services also now everyone over here you know to remember how this chart has to be remembered for exam arbitral tribunal or advocate or form of advocate or senior advocate giving services to a business entity whose aggregate turnover was greater than registration limit in number one business entity number two greater than registration limit in the last in preceding financial year then only gst will come under rcm otherwise always exempt are we clear everyone simple small and cute chart of legal services done everyone let's come to the next chart the next chart is on education everyone education and skill baba education again being important for the country government went ahead and told education co also will go ahead and give some exemption and government went ahead and told educational institution everyone listen to me very carefully what do you mean by an educational institution educational institution we are also teaching giving coaching we are also giving hey, i am not giving you education giving no but sir we are not educational institution according to the government you should be first of all an educational institution if you are an educational institution educational institution means any institution providing services by way of what pre school up to 12th sir if you are giving education as a part of curriculum which is up for obtaining what qualification recognized under law basically degree degree college post graduate uh, post degree colleges which are there yes or no everyone then or you are providing education as a part of approved vocational education course baba all these industrial training institutes etc will be there no they will go ahead and give what vocational courses so that people can go ahead and learn those courses and people can get some employment now all these three people are basically known as what educational institution remember one thing educational people educational institution remember one thing educational institution ko there are five services which i have told if you are giving transportation of student faculty and staff ka service catering including mid day meal ka services you are giving security cleaning housekeeping ka services remember security cleaning and housekeeping should be done within the campus only and sir admission or conduct of exam related service then your services will always be exempt if it is given to whom pre school up to 12 baba remember one thing pre school up to 12 wala kids don't read online journals and all and hence those services will not be exempted only the first four services will be exempt my question is security services provided to a pre school not in the campus annual sport day was going on in a field and their security services were provided not exempt remember only within the campus is taxable are we clear everyone can we go ahead remember this point next everyone now listen to me very carefully 
कॉलेज वाला किड्स डू दे टेक ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सर्विसेस डू यू टेक बस का फैसिलिटी देन बाबा डू यू टेक डू यू ईट स्कूल मिड डे मील्स नो सर सिक्योरिटी है सिक्योरिटी गार्ड सर क्लीनिंग एंड ऑल फुल डर्टी कॉलेज सर हाउस कीपिंग बाबा ऑल दिस हाउस कीपिंग सर्विस एंड ऑल रिमेंबर वेन एवर दिस सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड टू होम एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन इट सेल ऑलवेज बी Baba, it shall always be one minute, everyone here. Ha, huh. one minute. It exempt, exempt, exempt only. Listen, training exempt. Wait, wait, wait. What is exempt? One minute. Here, first four services are exempt. Correct, everyone. Second wala case me, admission or conduct of examination and online educational journal and periodicals are also exempt. Fourth and five both are exempt, everyone. First, second, and third are always taxable, taxable, taxable. What service are exempt? Baba, last wala by mistake it is cut. Copy paste. Jige everyone, you have to go ahead and remember admission related service or conduct of exam related service. Baba, ex co uh, college is going ahead and doing admission or examination. For examination, it is taking some paper printing, etc. service. GST will be exempted. Everyone, online educational journal or periodicals when they are supplied to whom? Colleges, which is after 12th, basically, then they will all degree colleges, basically, then they will be always exempt. Remember, only first three will be taxable. I hope I am clear with this point. Only the last two services will be exempt. By mistake, this is cut. Actually, this should not have been cut over. The last one over here is approved vocational education course who is going ahead and providing to them all the services are taxable other than one admission or conduct of exam related service. Only that is exempt. Others are all. Taxable, 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 taxable. Only this service is being exempted. These are services provided to. Services provided to. Now, if educational institution is providing any services, services provided by educational institution, sir, up to 12th wala is providing, degree college is providing, or mind be this approved vocational education course wala is providing. If they are providing any services to student, faculty or staff, SFS, SFS is student, faculty and staff, see, services received, I told you. Now, if they are providing services, then their services are also exempt. Now, everyone tell me one thing, you wanted to take admission, supposingly in Christ University. Now, Christ University went ahead and told you that we will go ahead and, you are not student yet. You are not student yet. They went ahead and told you, if you want to take admission, you have to go ahead and give entrance test. For the entrance test, we will collect 100 rupees. You are not our student. So, services given by educational institution to a prospective student. It is also exempt. Services provided by way of conduct of entrance examination against entrance fees is also exempted. I hope this point is clear to all. Everyone listen to me very carefully. You know all this CBIC board, state educational board which are there. CBIC board is CBSC, sorry. Uh, CBIC, Central Board of Indirect Tax and Custom. CBSC board is there. Well, because we teach indirect tax, we only remember CBIC, Central Board of Indirect Tax and Custom. Okay, everyone listen. Now, CBSC board is there. All your state boards are there. All these people also go ahead and take fees from you for going ahead and taking your 10th ka exam, 12th ka exam. Now, these fees, when they are taken by, Baba, I never told they are educational institution. They are not educational institution because educational institution is preschool up to 12th. Who is going, any educational institution providing degree or if it is... Approved vocational education course provider. Everyone over here now. Now they have gone ahead and told central boards, state boards which are there. No, only for the purpose of conducting exam for the student. They will be considered as educational institution and their services, they shall be treated as educational institution for the limited purpose of what? Providing service by way of conduct of examination to the students. Are we all clear? My question to you guys, this central board, state board, no? If your college wants to be affiliated, they will go ahead. Colleges say they collect affiliation fees. Do you know that? Affiliation fees. Sir, will this affiliation fees pay GST will come? Yes. What is exempt is only when they are going ahead and central board, state board, etc. is going ahead and doing what? Conducting exam and collecting money. That pay GST will not come. All other services pay GST will come. Now, everyone over here, you know this marine institutes. What is the marine institutes, everyone? Marine institutions are those who go ahead and give ship-related courses. Baba government went ahead and told these marine institutions are also educational institutions and their services provided to student, faculty and staff, etc. will also be 
exam. Are we clear, everyone? The next one over here, you know what? Listen, sir, everyone over here, Balu is there. Baba, this is Balu. What did Balu do? Balu went ahead and gave transportation services to a 12th, up to 12th wala educational issues. My question, everyone. He is giving transportation service. Will it be taxable or exempt? Yes, exempt. You know what? Balu went ahead and took that uh, transportation of student, faculty and staff. He wanted a bus. So he took it from his friend. His friend went ahead and gave him the bus, that motor vehicle. Now, my question is, when his friend gave him the motor vehicle on rent or hire, his services to him also will be exempt because these services are exempt. Are you guys clear with this? Sir, now my question everyone. Supposingly, Balu is going ahead and giving transportation of student, faculty and staff ka services to college. Haha. <laughs> After 12th wala college, which is greater than 12th, basically degree who is providing. Now, sir, is it taxable? Yes, sir. sir, Balu ka friend gave him motor vehicle on rent. Taxable. Are we all clear, everyone? Can we go ahead? I have gone ahead and written down this point over here that, sir, if giving on hire motor vehicle for transportation of student, faculty and staff to a person, I am a person providing student ka transportation facility to an educational institution. If you give me on hire, then, sir, that will also be exempt. I hope this point is clear. Everyone come to the left hand side. You know what? I will talk about one amendment one circular which is there one circular which is applicable for exam you tell me you don't need all the circular only you know the answer you tell me one thing you know your college they provide you when you want to leave when you're thrown out you need migration certificate your college gives you school gives you migration baba migration certificate migration certificate given by school or college now my question is is it taxable or exempt they will charge you fees for the migration certificate 100 rupees, 200 rupees, whatever it is there, will they go ahead and charge you GST? Array, it's a service to student, faculty and staff. Educational institution giving their services to student, faculty and staff is what? Exempt. I'll ask you one more question. Baba people, everyone is there with me? You know what? If you go to, if you go to, hey, 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 hmm, hmm. <laughs> everyone over here now, you went to an educational institution, now, if you want to take admission, you need eligibility certificate. Now, institutions also issue, educational institutions also issue eligibility certificate. When eligibility certificate is issued, it is not it is issued to prospective students who are not yet your students, who are prospective students. When this, this is issued, eligibility certificate by an educational institution, that will be taxable or exempt? Government told whatever fees is taken, it will be always exempt. Are we all 100% clear? Are we all done? Okay, one more question. Entrance test is taken by educational institution from prospective student, taxable or exempt? Yes. Hey, already no exempt. Right, everyone? I've gone ahead and told you additional point. Now, skill related, some exemptions are there. Everyone, please come to the left hand side. Skill related, some exemptions are there. Listen. Now, the skill related exemption, government went ahead and told entry number 69. Services provided by NSDC, Baba National Skill Development Corporation, NSDC is going ahead and providing skill courses. Whatever fees they charge, they will not charge any GST. Sir, services provided by NSDC or a sectoral skill council, which is approved by the NSDC or an assessment agency, which is under what? NSDC, who is doing assessments, who is doing tests, etc. Or a training partner. I am a training partner under NSDC. Then my services also will be exempted. Remember, a training partner under NSDC or SSC ka services also will be exempted. The next one over here is, Services by assessing body, empaneled by the director general of training, by way of assessment. So, sir, I am an assessing body. We go ahead and do the assessments of people. Okay? And we are empaneled under what? Director general of training and I am doing assessment under the skill development initiative scheme. Then my services also will be exempted. The last one over here is if I am a training pro provider. I am giving training and I am under the Deen Dial Upadhyay Gramin Kushal Yojana. Then my services also will be Exempted. I hope this point was clear to all. Yes, everyone. We are done with your education related services. Done. 
everyone insurance related service listen to me very carefully government have gone ahead and exempted various insurance schemes which are there now i am not an insurance agent who will go ahead and explain you which is this insurance scheme what does this insurance scheme say i went ahead and drawn i have gone ahead and done this chart so that you go ahead and see all the insurance scheme together and by chance any insurance scheme they to go ahead and tell you in the exam you can say hi exempt are we clear everyone everyone over here now the next one over here is entry number 35 insurance may they have gone ahead and told entry number 35 general insurance business under the following scheme means if general insurance business is sold under what scheme everyone general insurance means it is not life insurance general insurance is sold which is Hut insurance, Baba government is selling hut ka case mein small premium, why to charge GST, hut insurance, now Baba this hut may might be this lady is saying, this lady is a self-employed woman, self-employed woman ka, what if this bull comes and hit, correct or not, so self-employed woman ka, group personal accident policy, Baba self-employed woman ka, group personal accident policy pe GST will not come, Baba this cattle, what if it hit and it is injured then, so government told center, sector, everyone here 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 Se center sector scheme on cattle insurance or cattle insurance scheme also pay gst will not come now baba madam ka husband is over here he is <laughs> now any tribal insurance which is there everyone anyone any tribal insurance which is there also gst will not come now for an example this person took a bike and he was going on the way what if he meets an accident so janta personal accident policy or gramin gramin means village gramin accident policy also gst will not come okay sir now what happened now baba once this person will become old old people ke liye government rented baba only for classroom purpose i am telling they basically jan arogya bima which is for anyone jan arogya bima rashtriya swasthya bima sir nirmaya health insurance pay also gst will not come now everyone over here listen to me very carefully besides this home you see a coconut and palm tree coconut and palm insurance also gst will not come now in the village what they go ahead and do is they go ahead and do cultivation okay everyone now cultivation ka case may government went ahead and told bangla sasya bima basically crops insurance which is there bangla sasya bima modified national agricultural scheme pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana rashtriya krishi krishi means farmer bima yojana or pilot scheme pilot scheme which was launched on seed crop baba seed is there seed crop insurance also gst will be exempted now baba to do it to do agriculture you need pump set etc so they have told agricultural pump set and any failed well insurance also have done gst will be exempted now to do agriculture you need sunlight also baba whether whether you need or not to restructure weather based crop insurance is also exempted now everyone listen to me very carefully this whole village in itself is a universe right everyone universal health insurance or pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana also gst will be exempted read it twice you will remember it if you don't remember it do one thing take a xerox of this put it where you do brush every day morning so that every day you see it okay everyone by the exam you'll remember everyone over here now left side i've gone ahead and written life insurance business under janasri bima yojana Aam Admi Bima Yojana. Baba, whenever you see Aam Admi and all, you remember. Okay, everyone. Now, Aam Admi Bima Yojana. Life Micro Insurance Product. Baba, Life Micro Insurance Product, where the maximum coverage is how much? 2 lakh. Baba, Life Insurance, where the coverage is only 2 lakh. Premium will be 100, 200 rupees. Why to charge? GST. Then, what is top? Pen Son Nahi. Pen Shan. Okay. What Pension Bima Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Vaya Vandana Yojana. Under this, whenever life insurance will be sold, it will also be exempted from GST. Now, everyone on the right hand side, you see Indian Army, etc., which is there. Government have gone ahead and told, government has created one group insurance fund. Okay, everyone. Under this, what happens? All the Army, Navy ka people are being insured. Now, what happens from the Indian Army, Navy ka people, government will take a small premium. Government told whenever insurance services are given and a small premium is taken, on that there will be no GST. Can we go ahead, everyone? Everyone over here. Are you closed? One minute. Okay. Huh, everyone over here. Entry number 29, 29A and 29. B, it says over here, life insurance services, when they are provided to Army, Navy, Air Force, Coastal Guard, CFEF, Centrally Armed Police Force, under the group insurance scheme of the government, basically, then also whatever premium is being charged, they will not go ahead and charge any GST. The next one over here, down if you come, sir, if there is any life insurance business, life insurance business, which is provided by way of 
annuity under the national pension system, then on that life insurance business also there will be no GST which will be charged. Then on the left hand side you have, sir, services provided to the government for under a insurance scheme. Government is going to pay the premium, then you don't go ahead and charge any GST. Everyone listen to me very carefully. This entry number 35, okay. Then entry number 36, okay. And entry number 36. Entry number 40, may whatever insurance I have sold or if I get a reinsurance done, that person will do the reinsurance also, he will not go ahead and charge any GST. Reinsurance of the insurance scheme under 35, 36 and 40 also will be exempted. Right everyone, here I will go ahead and close my small chart on insurance related services.